Hi, this is Joseph. It is Tuesday. It's September 1st. I wanted to show you a quick uh, trade setup that might help you uh, trade inside a consolidation. So what you're looking at is my uh, Euro futures charts. So if you are considering using the trade copier, I, I always say this, I think it's a pretty good idea that you understand the trading system that's behind whatever it is that executes the trades for you. Again, my trade copier duplicates my trades and then instantly executes those trades inside of your MT4 platform, even if you're sleeping. So this particular chart that you're looking at right now is the 15-minute uh, Euro futures. I trade futures so that I can look at contract volume. I started trading futures back in 2001. That was actually my first trading account. I opened up an account with PFG, and I was trading the uh, E-mini S&P. And then uh, a few months after that, I started trading Forex, and I've been trading both ever since. So when I get the opportunity to trade not only the currency pairs, because you are going to get trades on the majors, the euro, dollar, pound, dollar, dollar, yen, dollar, Swiss, all of them, all the currency pairs that I trade are on my website. But uh, again, I use the futures charts so that I can have a deeper look into what's going on, volume, momentum, participation, all of that. And this isn't tick volume. So a lot of people argue that when you use the MT4 platform and you're using the volume clip, the uh, volume indicator, that that's tick volume. This is actual contracts. So this isn't like the, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this, this isn't like a, a euro dollar contract. This is just euro future. So when you see price moving up, it's euro strength. When you see price moving down, it's euro weakness. Now, again, this is a 15 minute chart. So this is an exercise that I also uh, have my coaching students go through. This range right here of consolidation, right here is the start of the London session right here. So for about six hours, approximately, we had a lot of consolidation. There were a few little short-term opportunities, but this is where it gets really challenging for a lot of inexperienced traders. Number one, it's the fear of missing out, right? You're looking at price and let's say, you know, we can't see what's over here on the right. We're looking at everything to the left. And when you see price printing some kind of a bullish candle, sometimes you think, okay, it's a bounce off of support and you buy and you know, you might make a few pips. Uh, sometimes you hold too long. You're thinking it's going to go higher. Uh, you're looking at the daily time frame. You see a, a solid, strong bullish candle. So you think it's going to go higher and then you get a move like this. So how do you determine these turning points? How do you figure this out? How do you know if it's just going to be, uh, some people refer to these moves like this as a blow off move. I do. Uh, so it's a, it's an up thrust and it failed and it came right back down inside of this consolidation range. And so there's a couple of different things you want to do throughout this time frame where price is basically moving sideways. To me, this is consolidation and this is usually where I stay out. I don't usually trade inside of this. It's very choppy. You can see volume levels are really drying up here. Uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, again, these are contracts. This is real volume. This isn't tick volume. Uh, and, and again, you want to also pay attention to the price swings. Now, beyond that, you can go along with the, uh, I, like Wyckoff theory, you can go uh, Wyckoff methods, you can go with the uh, price structure. Uh, all of this combines and comes in together, uh, comes together to formulate a trade, right? You're looking for a cause. You're looking to determine, is it going to break out and continue to the upside? Because the trend has been to the upside. And if you're looking at a daily time frame, you're thinking, well, it's, it's likely to keep going, but then it doesn't right on these short term time frames. I mean, this is a big move. There's a really accelerated sell off right at, uh, I believe, let's see what this time is here. This is 615, uh, sorry, 615 California time. So that's 915 New York time. I'm in California, so I'm three hours behind. So this is 915. This is a 15 minute chart. So how do you know when it's going to reverse? How do you know when it's okay to go long or short? So again, we want to be paying attention to, first of all, the structure. There's consolidation here. Throughout this time, we're measuring and watching these swings and we're calculating the total number of contracts within these swings. And we can see here, initially it looked like at one point it was gonna be a strong move. Uh, again, this was the, let's go right there. This was the, this was the London session. So at one point with 12,246 contracts within this move to the downside, it looked like it could potentially go shorter, but we wait for confirmation. We know that there's likely to be some kind of a retest if that's going to happen. The other issue is, again, we've got this high, we've got this range of consolidation, and this would be a picture perfect opportunity where we see this up thrust that fails. So along the way, we're measuring and we're seeing that, again, after waiting for some kind of a retracement, it continues to just move higher. It doesn't turn around and come back down. We pay attention to some of these candles where uh, we're noticing the contract volume is sort of minimizing. It's just kind of going flat. It's really not doing anything. You can see it here. So then we start to 
make a, an approach to the upside. So within these three 15 minute bars, or I'm sorry, candles, this is 45 minutes. We had 14,115 contracts. And on that final last 15 minute candle, that doji candle right there, it didn't close above that resistance. And on that 15 minute candle, we had 14,149 contracts traded within that 15 minute bar. And then it accelerated and reversed. That was my signal. That was that up thrust that failed. Again, price structure, volume, noticing how these swings are starting to shorten as opposed to the way it looks over here, right? You look at these, look at this particular upswing. We've got this move. There's five 15 minute candles, 8,633 contracts. It, it goes sideways for 15 minutes and then it picks up a little bit of momentum and then it stalls right there. So you can see how these moves are starting to, sh they're starting to shorten. And that's what we want to be paying attention to. As we start to approach these highs, where are these turning points? Well, we see that, they're, that the uh, price swings are starting to shorten, and then we get an accelerated move to the downside. So this is something that you could expect. It's not always picture perfect. This is not the way it's always going to look. You're going to have reversals. You're going to see reversals where this would be the high, and it would behave similarly here, but it may not even take out the high, and then you get the reversal, and you get the big s increase in... in uh, and volume and momentum to the downside. So it's something to be aware of. Again, I prefer to use, uh, it's something that I've, I've said for many, many years, trade the picture perfect setups, meaning that from the time that you find the trade and the moment you get into it, there's no doubt in your mind you're doing the right thing. You followed all the rules, you can clearly see it, you've been waiting for it. So the way I trade the trade copier, we continue to watch and wait and stock these trades. It's very, very tempting to want to trade inside a consolidation. But we know that this is likely to happen the way it played out today. It's just a matter of waiting for it. It's also possible that this could have moved to the upside and continued a lot higher. That would have provided a different opportunity. When that happens, I'll make a video on that and I'll post that so you'll be able to see that. But this should help you gain some kind of insight on how to trade and track consolidation measure price swings notice the the uh you know the way that they're either shortening or lengthening on these swings and then as far as contracts you're probably wondering okay how can you do this with your mt4 account you can't uh, on your mt4 platform it's very limited this is a think or swim platform and something that i would recommend you do if you wanted to try this method and it is a lot of work i have to tell you that this is a lot of work uh, if you were to do this by hand it is a lot of work but i'll explain quickly how you could set this up you would download a demo account for the thinkorswim platform and then you would find the euro futures or the pound futures or the swiss futures australian futures canadian futures all of them are there now again you're going to be looking for volume you want volume i'm using a, the volume average uh, indicator down here this is a lot of work trading is a lot of work it's not easy it clearly gives you an idea where things are starting to reverse. Now, notice on the move back down, so far we've got that 14,149 candle of uh, contracts within that 15 minute candle. The next candle here where my cursor is, there's 8,809 uh, contracts. That one where it just kind of went flat right there for about 15 minutes at 7,500 approximately. And then that last candle where it pushed right through that support level, that candle right there in itself, that 15 minute candle, that has 16,829 contracts. You clearly know when you're trading this and, you, uh, and, and you're in the trade by watching the behavior, following it, stocking the trade, noticing and being prepared for these possibilities, knowing how reversals move like this, not every single time, but these are picture perfect reversals, and then paying attention to volume levels and the participation and of course the time of day, this clearly gives you an opportunity to get into a trade and hold on to the trade. A lot of times people will close out a trade too soon. They don't know where to take profits. That's the other thing you want to be aware of. You know, where are you going to take profits? When you get into a trade, you should clearly know where your stop is and your take profit levels are. So hopefully this will help you. If, if you don't have that kind of time, that's what the trade copier is for. The trade copier will allow you to uh, connect it to your MT4 account. And then when I execute these trades, I executed this trade, it was perfect. Again, on several other currency pairs, you're going to get the same trades. And when I open the trade and I close the trade, the trade copier will duplicate the same behavior in your MT4 account. Uh, this can all take place even while you're sleeping or while you're at work. So there's a lot of money to be made here. Uh, you can see this just a, it's a big move. So if you'd like to participate and get trades just like this, you can use my trade copier. I'll execute those trades for you safely and comfortably. And you can make a lot of money with my trade copier each month.
off of moves just like this. And then of course I send out at the end of each day uh, videos similar to this so I teach my strategy along the way.